all times while in your seat. Mr. Hayes, I have nothing further to say to you. I don't want you to say anything. I want you to listen to me. Listen to what? You sling more mud at my daughter? No. Something you seem to not want to hear. My side of it. Thank you, but I've heard enough of your side. Well, there it is. Knew it was coming. The old Hayes backside. Answer to any and all problems. You know what your problem is, Mr. Hayes? You're afraid there is another side to all this and you're not man enough to hear it. Okay, I'm listening. I'm sorry about this afternoon. About what I said. About the way I said it. Believe it or not, out of this whole mess, we got a dead heat between things that I did right and things that I did wrong. Do you have any idea how I feel about your daughter? Do you? I work with her there in the same office every day. Every day I see another guy come in and tell me his wife packed the car, left him forever, and he wants us to get the car back. And I look over at her. There she is, just sitting there. Four billion people in the world, half of them built for comfort, and I gotta pick this one to wanna grow old with. But that's not good enough for Maddie. She needs time. I gotta wait for this one. And maybe you're right, maybe she's right. Maybe I am wrong, but I don't think so. I have had to chop myself up into little pieces, my pride, my personality, everything that I am, into little squares for this woman. I tried to wear the white hat. I go over her house one night, heart on my sleeve, cards on the table. I'm gonna tell her I love her, I wanna marry her, I wanna promise her the moon, and excuse me, there is another man there. That's right. There's another man there. It's okay, this is the 80s, so I waited. I waited for her to make up her mind whether she wants him or she wants me, and she finally does, or so I thought. We spent a great month together. I wake up one morning and she is gone. Boom, out, just like that. Next thing I hear, she's at your house in Chicago. The next news bulletin I hear is that she's pregnant with a baby that may or may not be mine. Okay, she's confused, she wants to go away, she doesn't know who the father is, I understand that, but she wasn't even gonna tell me. So what did I do, what did I do? I get on my horse, sound the bugle, and go fight the fight? No, I go home and I wait, because she tells me to, I wait and I wait and I wait. And you know why? Because I love her, because I am crazy about her. Marry her, hell yes I'd marry her, I asked her, she said no. So don't come around here making me the villain, don't blame this on me. Marry her, do I love her? Mr. Hayes, I would give up my life for her. It's over. All this. All this craziness, this whole attitude, it's all done. I didn't come here to tell you that your daughter is a bad guy. But I'm not a bad guy either. You said to me today I was giving up on Maddie and the baby. No, I wasn't. I wasn't giving up on them. I was giving up on myself. Well, that's done. That is over. If this thing's gonna work, this whole relationship, this whole thing with me and her, the baby, all of it, it's gonna work. She's gotta come talk to me now. Thank you for listening.